hello my sweet friends welcome back to my channel i hope that this video finds you doing amazing and i hope each and every one of you are doing very well today you guys i am super excited to be sharing with you some very beautiful high-end spring decor diys and i cannot wait to share them with you so let's jump right in all right friends for this first diy i have here this welcome sign that you can get from dollar tree and i have never seen these before these are new they have this one and one that says hello and i picked up both of them i'm gonna work with this one for today and i am going to give it a nice coat of some white paint and i am not going to worry about if it goes on the welcome because i do want to paint that a different color but I'm not going to worry too much if the white gets on it because, you know, you can't really um, not get white on it when you're painting it. So it's kind of hard to paint around it, but I'm just going to um, give the sign a nice coat of white paint. And I do give it two coats just to cover it up really good. And then I let that dry really well. And then I do take a little smaller brush so that way I can go inside of those little grooves that... I can get the foam brush into just like as you see here and I'm just gonna finish painting that in the white and then once I am done that and it is nicely dry I am gonna take this green colored paint and I'm gonna paint the welcome with this color I really love um, these two colors together for my home decor but you can absolutely choose whatever colors for your home decor and yeah i really love how it turned out with this green color and it's, it dries super quick and so once i have both of that nice and dried i do want to make the wording just pop out a little bit more from that sign um rather than just being flat there by itself i'm gonna take this drawstring and i am simply gonna hot glue it around all of the wording and it is going to be a little bit tricky because there is a lot of small areas and stuff but i am going to try my best just to place it down the juice string is pretty thin so that is good um so i am going to just uh, place hot glue down and then keep putting the string until the whole entire word has it around it and i'm also going to place it even inside of the little openings of the letters as well so it can be nice and complete and once that is done you guys i really love how it looks with that i think it makes it look way better and it just makes the whole wording stand out and makes the sign look really good so i really love that and you can also put other stuff um like um dollar tree carries diamonds and pearls and all that type of stuff as well so if you didn't want to use drawstring there are many options and now once i am done with the wording i just want to decorate the sign up a little bit i have this bead of strings and they were already um like this i got this from my thrift store and i am just gonna hot glue that down to the edge of this circle sign and just as you see me do here i'm just gonna place some hot glue and just keep going all the way around and now this isn't gonna cover the entire circle but i actually liked how it looked that way um it looks a little bit different from what you would normally see if the beads were on the sign they would normally be all the way around the sign but i do actually like how it looks with it just being more than you know halfway a little bit and just having the top open and because you do um want to add something on top just to finish it off and i'm going to add a little bow in the end with some burlap ribbon or you can add some greenery to it as well whatever you like up there and that's really going to top off the top up there and that's really going to make it look better so i really like that the beads don't go all the way around and now you can see how pretty it looks i'm just going to add another jute hanger and i'm going to add that burlap bow to the top i'm just going to make a little simple bow that as you would tie your shoes that's how i make my bows really nice and simple and i'm just going to hot glue that down to the top there and this sign is complete and i absolutely love it i love how simple and chic it looks and this will be perfect to hang in your entryway on your door really just almost anywhere i would say i really love how it turned out and i love that i found this sign at dollar tree i think it's really cute to make a sign for your door you guys have to let me know what you think of this diy
all right guys next up i have here this cross and this pack of wood planks you can find these both at dollar tree this pack comes with six wood planks and i always like to pick these up because you never know when you could use them and they could definitely be used for a lot of things so i'm just going to take three of those wooden planks and i'm going to create a box shape i'm going to lay one down um on the table and then i'm going to put two on the sides and i'm going to put put that together using wood glue and hot glue and i'm going to put the wood glue, wood glue so that way it can be nice and strong and long term and so i'm just going to simply place it on the edge of the plank and then i'm just going to press the two sides right against it just as you see me doing here and you are going to want to hold it in place for a second just so that hot glue can dry and then i am going to run another bead of hot glue on the inner side where it meets together so that way it can be nice and strong in the inside as well so i'm going to do that for both sides and then i want to create the other two sides for this box and i'm going to do that with some tower tumbling blocks and it does take five to go across um the box so i am going to hot glue and wood glue five tower tumbling blocks together and I am just simply going to glue that to the sides, creating a box. So now here is what it looks like once it's all together and I really love how it looks and then for the cross I am going to fill in that hole at the top because I don't want that. I'm going to just take some of Dollar Tree spackle and fill it in and while I let that dry for a little bit I'm going to paint the box and I'm going to paint it in some nice white paint. I'm going to give that about two coats and let that dry really well. And of course, you can use whatever color of your liking. And I don't paint the inside because you are not going to see the inside once everything is nice and complete. And then once I get the box nice and painted and it is dried, I did want to stain the cross, but my stainer froze completely and I could not use it. And so I don't know if it that um melts down. Let me know if the com in the comments if that melts back down or is it trash now. Um it completely froze. So I'm gonna make my own stainer using this hazelnut color and a little bit of water. I'm gonna mix that up together and that creates a stain like um feel for the piece and it does dry really quick so i decided to just to do that and then i am just going to stain the entire cross front and back and i do want to make sure that i get all around the edges the back and everything because the way i'm going to place it you will be able to see it all around and so once i get that nice and done and it is nice and dry I am going to take some floral foam and I am going to stick it down inside of this box and two pieces fit really perfect inside of here so I was very happy about that so I just placed them down and then I'm just going to take some flowers and I'm going to arrange them in the way that I like. I just take some pink ones and some greenery and I just arrange them in there until my eyes are happy and you can definitely place whatever florals you like or just greenery um whatever you want and then i'm gonna take the cross and i'm gonna stick it down into the floral floral foam and i'm just gonna place that more to the back side um rather than the middle and i am gonna place that right in the center between the two pieces of the foam and i am gonna use some hot glue just to make sure that the cross doesn't move around too much and you just simply want to push it right down and it'll go in really nice and easily and i do recommend putting hot glue just as i did because you don't want it to be wobbly and end up falling 
and stuff like that so i do do that and then i just as i said i place down some greenery as well just to give it a nice pop of color and then i also place down some floral moss down in there so you don't see any of that floral foam and then once i do that i do want to take some drawstring and i'm gonna wrap it around the box just to give it a little decorative touch because i thought i needed a little bit of something and once i am once i am done that this diy is complete and i absolutely love this one you guys i think it is so beautiful and it makes such a statement and i really love it and this could absolutely be all year around and i really love how it turned out and everything is from dollar tree guys the only thing that is not is the florals but you can definitely find ones just like this at the dollar tree and even more and i really love how this turned out you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments all right you guys for the final diy for today i have here this wood sign i got this from the thrift store it was two dollars and i absolutely love how it looks and i am just going to give it a nice upgrade and this is going to be a little door sign and this piece is a custom piece it was requested by a family member and so i am making it for them and what I want to do is I want to take some painting tape and I'm going to just tape off the two center strips because I want to paint the top and the bottom strips, um, well, wood planks, and I don't want to paint the center. So I am going to tape that off and I am just going to paint the top and bottom wood planks in that white paint. And it, I am going to give it about three to four coats because this is going to be hung outside and i do want to really make sure that it is nice and you know durable then once that is nice and dry we can remove those painter tapes and i am now going to give it a nice coat of some mod podge because i am going to be placing down some vinyl and i do want it to stick really good and it'll also protect the paint that we just put on so i am gonna give the whole sign a nice coat of the mod podge and let that dry really well and then i am gonna take the vinyl that i got that i cut from my cricut and i am going to place it onto the gray part of the sign which is the center and this sign says bienvenido a nuestro hogar which translates to welcome to our home in spanish and i really love that and i'm gonna place it right in the center and then i am gonna place another layer of mod podge on top of the vinyl just to make sure that that vinyl is nice and protected as well and you guys i do i am really good at the cricket now at first i was really bad at it but I do really love using the Cricut and if you would like to see a video all about Cricut um, signs or something like that, uh, do let me know down below in the comments because I would love to make a video like that for you guys. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. And so once I have the wording, I am going to place a nice heavy layer of Mod Podge as I mentioned, because this is gonna be placed outdoors and I do want that wording to be nice and protected. And you guys, I am loving how it is turning out so far. I just love the font that I chose because it looks so elegant and inviting. And I really love how it looks so far. And of course, I do wanna decorate it up a little bit. So I am gonna take some greenery and some, um, some burlap ribbon to make a bow. And I'm just gonna place some greenery leaves down there at the top using some hot glue. And then I'm gonna also take some lighter uh, green ones that are a bit sparkly and that gives it a nice contrast. And I am gonna place that down with some hot glue as well. And then also place down my bowl with some hot glue. And this sign is complete, you guys. And I think this is so beautiful. 
and this has to be one of my favorite ones from today because i just love how elegant and high end it looks and i just love it so let me know what you guys think of this diy or thrift flip and let me know in the comments which one was your favorite from today i love to hear from you guys and that is it for today's video my friends if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and do consider hitting that subscribe button i would love to have you be a part of my family and you guys let me know down below in the comments don't forget which one was your favorite one and which one did you like the most let me know all your feedback and as always god bless stay safe and i will see you all on the next one bye